Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Hope you're having a great day and wanted to share with you something that I've discovered within Snagit and I was hoping to get the scrolling windows feature working, which I'm having trouble in Snagit 2021. I also installed the all new Snagit 2022, which I will put a link where you get more information on it. You can try it out and you can also upgrade or order it. So it's the same issue there. However, I found one way that's actually even better than I like because I don't have to do the entire screen as I'll share with you. So let me go ahead and go into Snagit 2022. As you can see, I'm going to go here, help and about Snagit. And there you go, 2022. And now when I'm here in scrolling window and you could see there are a number of different options you could choose from. In this case, we just want to focus on scrolling window. I'm going to click capture and you can see my face is frozen because I'm capturing the screen. Now you got the bottom arrow and what it's supposed to do is scroll vertically down the web page when you click the button and you can see that's it. It stopped and now it's thinking and so now you can see it's processing the capture. So now we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing. You got to click on your screen otherwise it's going to get stuck. I'm going to open the editor and there it is. That is what it's captured. So that's not scrolling window. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and scrolling window should have scrolled and you should have seen the page scrolling down. So I discovered there is another way to make this work. And again, keep in mind, it could be an application on your computer. It could be Google Chrome, but this works. And I even like this better. It's called panoramic. So now when I click capture, I can choose what I want, particularly on that page where it's going to scroll. So I'm going to highlight this area here. And so scrolling downward now, it's going to capture everything in here. Now you can see up here, it's got this box and you're just going to either click start. And if you start, you can actually redo or you can just cancel it. So I'm going to click start and you want to scroll slowly. Now, one of the things you'll see here in the preview box is it will show you what it's scrolling and you can see the longer you go, it's getting thinner and longer. So let's just say we stop here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click stop and now it's going to process the capture and there you go. And now it's going to open up and you can go into the editor and there you go there. It captured exactly what I wanted. And now if you want to just edit this, you can, you can, uh, you could bring it up a little bit because it's just too long. And now you can see it's nice and wide and you can save it as an image. You can share it all different ways that you want. You can even draw on it. So there's so many different options that you can do. Now let's just go ahead and just to show you if I wanted to do a panoramic of the whole entire page or actually let's just let me go ahead and cancel out of that a second. I'm going to scroll up to back to the top and I am going to do the entire page, including myself. And there we go. So now we're going to start and you can see as it's starting to scroll. Now, for some reason, it's not giving you that preview. I don't know if it's because you're doing the whole page, but you can see there it's not showing that. But let's see what the end result is as we stop scrolling. Now it's going to go ahead and process this and it's going to go right into the editor that you could then access. So I really like having this way of doing scrolling window where you're capturing the exact part of that page that you want to do versus the entire window. So I really like this uh, now that I figured it out and so glad and hopefully this can be of help to you as well. And by the way, if you find this of help, this video, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber and find I add value as I do product reviews and tips like this, and then of course the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. All right, now let's go ahead into the editor. So there you go. It captured the entire page. And then of course you can take out the part that you don't want. Um, let me see, let me take that. So we're going to go a little narrow. And then let's just say, you know, I don't care about me in there and I want it a little shorter. There you go. So it's all done. Of course, you're going to have whatever it sees there. So you just need to make sure to have that maybe in the corner, but there you go. And then again, you could save. So let me know if you have any questions. I really think that uh, this feature the panoramic is so much better and it works great. So that is my tip of the day. Let me know if you have any questions. I really appreciate your time. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Take care.